Hello and welcome to whathifi.com. Today we're going to talk you through our list of pointers for getting the most out of your audio system. Now, owning a traditional system of hi-fi separates is still the best way of enjoying music with the highest level of sonic performance. A good quality system with a CD player like this Lima Antilla or turntable like the Clear Audio Performance matched to a stereo amp like this Plinius 9200 and these Wilson Benesch Arc speakers will dig up musical details and vocal realism in a way unrivaled by anything else. Be warned, however, there are plenty of pitfalls that can stop you getting the best from your music system. But conversely, there are lots of steps you can take to ensure your hi-fi is giving you the best possible sound quality. Here are a few of them. The first thing you need to know is this. Where you put your system really matters. The right place for electronics is somewhere stable, resonance-free, and as far away from the speakers as is practical. A dedicated hi-fi rack like this custom-designed Milan LCD3 is ideal. Now, while every piece of hi-fi is sensitive to vibration, turntables need extra special care. These work best on dedicated stands such as this, or if you have a suspended wooden floor, you can go for a wall shelf. Without adequate care over sighting, your record player will never perform to its best. A lot of kit also gets very warm with extended use, so make sure you never block off vent holes and leave plenty of space for air to circulate. Don't stack your kit either. It's one of the worst things you can do from a heat and sound quality point of view. It turns out the long predicted demise of the turntable has been exaggerated. 25 years after the launch of CD, the tradition of listening to music on flawed yet fabulous vinyl refuses to go away. But are you making sure your deck is performing to its musical best? All those moving parts need to be correctly calibrated and aligned, and that means you need to set it up thoroughly and carefully. Now, cartridge alignment is vital. Get this step wrong by even a degree and distortion increases dramatically. Most turntable manufacturers supply an alignment gauge with their products, so you've got no excuse. Take your time and make sure the cartridge lines up exactly with the marks. Get it right and it will optimise the sound and reduce vinyl wear. The next thing you should consider is tracking force and bias. All cartridges come with a specified weight that should force the needle onto the record. Too high and the sound is dull and lifeless. Too low and it'll be insubstantial and edgy, with the cartridge even jumping the groove on occasion. Bias is the sideways force that balances the inward pull of the groove on the record. Get it right and you'll hear a marked improvement in sound with less distortion and greater clarity. Many people don't give much thought to cables, but remember, they really are important. Simply put, your system won't make a sound without them. Also remember that the complete music signal travels through them and you'll realise just how important to sound quality they are. That's right, a well-made, well-shielded cable will help to preserve the signal as it travels and will prevent interference causing degradation to the sound between components. A speaker cable such as this Merlin Pro we're using and interconnects like the Nordos Balder we have on the system will help. Likewise, if you do your research, you'll find that some cables have a small effect on the tonal balance. Match them carefully to your system and you can make small improvements. For example, if you use a high quality cable that reviews describe as having a slightly soft treble, it could help to smooth out the edges on a system that sounds brittle and forward. Yes, interconnects and speaker cables do make a difference. We recommend you spend about 10 to 15% of your whole system cost on these. If you skimp in this area, you'll never hear what your system is truly capable of. Also think about trying a dedicated mains cable. They really can make a difference, although that claim has been uh, known to cause the odd argument on the forums here at whathifi.com. Yes, try a good quality specialist cable, such as the Clearer Audio's Copper Line for about £100, and if you listen with an open mind, we're sure you'll notice the sonic improvements across the board. There are manufacturers who offer a 30-day money-back option as well, so you can try it without loss if you don't agree with us. More than any other piece of kit, it's the speakers that have the most impact on the overall presentation of sound. No, they can't add detail or make up for information that's gone missing from the source to the speaker cable terminals, but if you don't get it right, they can still make things sound a whole lot worse. That's right. Now, the best speakers in the world won't sound great if placed somewhere that they weren't designed to go. Some speakers are meant to be snug against a wall and will sound right there, while others require a lot of space to sound at their best. But first, you'll have to choose between floor standing and stand mounted speakers. Both types offer different qualities and drawbacks, so here's a quick summary. Floor standers, due to their bigger cabinets, can offer deeper and more powerful bass, as well as more outright scale and power. However, floor standers are more likely to fall prey to unwanted cabinet resonances and tonal coloration. So in many cases, a pair of stand mounters will offer the most precise, accurate and realistic sound at any given price point. Once you've chosen which type you want, make sure you set them up with the supplied spikes. 
They stabilize the speaker, remove unwanted resonances, and help improve speed, attack, and detail. The most important thing when positioning your speakers is distance. Try to create an equilateral triangle by making the distance between you and each of the speakers and the distance between the speakers themselves identical, otherwise you won't benefit from the stereo image your hi-fi has to offer. Then you should think about towing in. That means slightly angling the speakers towards you. Basically, you're looking to balance achieving good width in your stereo image against having a really solid and well-focused centre to the image usually to be found with the lead vocal. Here's how to achieve it. Now, this will be much easier if you have an enthusiastic friend to help you. Or failing that uh, tired and slightly resentful one. In any case, start with your speakers facing directly forward with no toe in at all. Then, sitting in your listening position to focus on the sound, slowly and by degrees, angle the speakers in towards you. With each incremental step of toe in, the centre of the stereo image will become sharper, more solid and more focused. However, there will come a point where the stereo image collapses where the focus at the centre is offset by a sudden lack of width, as if you are now listening to a narrow corridor of sound. When this happens, simply edge the speakers back out by one degree and you will have the best balance available. There are a number of other things you can do to improve your hi-fi sound quality. Some of these techniques might sound a little odd, but they do work. Listen for yourself and hear the difference. A good piece of housekeeping is to tighten the drive unit bolts every six months or so. These will loosen in use and affect clarity and dynamics. But make sure you don't overdo this, otherwise you'll damage the speaker. Another good piece of housekeeping is to periodically disconnect and reconnect all the cables. This helps to clean the contacts and will result in a slightly better sound. All these measures will help you get the most from your hi-fi. The ultimate point of owning an audio system is to be able to hear music in your home with enough quality, detail and dynamics to make listening a genuinely moving experience. So once you've got your system, set it up properly and take good care of it. It will repay that care for many years to come. For more system tips, expert advice and all the latest news and product reviews, keep coming back here to whathifi.com. <laughs>